Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a little falcon on an iPad using Procreate. Let's select a grayish blue for the sky. We drop it there, create a new layer, choose a black and for the brush I choose the willow charcoal which is in the charcoals menu. With this, we begin sketching the bird. We loosely outline the whole shape. First the body, including the head and tail, and then the wing. Once we are happy with these overall very general shapes, we may begin refining and drawing some of the detail, like the eyes and the beak which of course is hooked, since he's a falcon. To be exact, he will be an American kestrel. By the way, I will use the same willow charcoal for the whole drawing, except for the eraser, as need be. On another layer, I pick up a darker bluish gray for his head. These falcons are very colorful. The head and parts of the wings are of that bluish gray, while most of the body is reddish, like a brick, at least for the male. The females are more brown. On this lower part of the head, there are some characteristic lines, which resemble a little bit like an old helmet. Now we pick up the brick color I was talking about. We will use this mainly for the areas that are in light, while we make a darker version for the shade. And we will keep switching and playing with different tonalities for the different changes of value. The part of the wings closer to the body are of the same color and then they are of the bluish gray. I blur the line that divides the two colors. And there are some parts of the head which are lighter, almost white. Let's work on these dark areas and on the beak. And I would like to invite you to follow my art, both on Instagram and Twitter, at Artist Leonardo. I hope to see you there. All right, let's find a lighter gray for the inside of the other wing, like so. Here on the tail, they have black spots on each feather and then white on the tip. Their chests are moulted, that is, with spots. While the end of the wings are very dark. You know, I want to move the tail lower, so let's select it and then rotate it slightly. And then we fill in the gap. Very good. Now we keep drawing the spots. This is really fun. I love drawing, both traditionally and digitally. What about you? Let's give some light to the edge of the wings. And we keep going. I will also erase the layer with the sketch lines. I'm seeing that the forehead may be a little bit too high, so I erase the edge. Good, much better. And let's shade a little bit more the inside of the wing. I'll paint a little bit higher the blue of the wing, integrating it to the reddish and then I'll darken the tips of the wings a bit more so that they are actually black. These black feathers have some blue spots, so let's add those. 
good. I would like the sky to be darker. If we click on the adjustments on the top of the menu, we can modify things like the color, contrast, etc. of each layer. And also clicking on the settings at the top left and then canvas, we can resize it. So we give the bird more space. We copy the color with the eyedropper and drop it to fill the rest. Now, finally, we give it more light to the top and to the wings. And if you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code, the little falcon. And it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to find our tips if you haven't done so already, click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos, and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.